In this session, we're going to model a beautiful mathematical form, a strange attractor, as a public sculpture. In the next session, we'll model uh, and render this in Thea Render for Rhino photorealistically. Let's begin by starting a new document in Grasshopper. We're going to be using the chimpanzee plugin for Download that from Food for Rhino. It has components for fractals, hyperchaotic systems, iterated function systems, maps, and strange attractors. We're going to be using, in the strange attractor menu, the chin system. Take the chin system component and place it on your canvas. You'll see a preview of the point generated with the default parameters for this. The default parameters have 15,000 iterations and um, we will begin by interpolating between all of these points with a curve so we can better preview this. I'm going to begin by adding an interpolate curve component. I'm going to plug in the output of the chin system with the points as the input vertices. Then I will right click on the middle of the chin system and turn off the preview so I can better see the curves for the chin system. Now we're going to adjust some of the parameters of the chin system and get the shape we want. To better understand this strange attractor, we're going to look at the iteration. So I'm going to add a number slider for that. The default value is 15,000. I'm going to right click on this and make this integer. I'm going to make the max 50,000. And I'll make the starting value 1. And I'm going to plug this into iterations. As I advance across the slider, you'll see the system progressively drawing as it moves through particle moves across this through time. This is the trace of its course around the attractors. Now, I'm going to also adjust the A parameter, which is set to 35 by default, I believe. I'm going to add a number slider integer max of 50 and the initial value I'll set to 40. I'm going to plug that in and then as I advance this to 44 the shape's going to tighten up around the attractors. This is giving me a nice shape for my sculpture. For my sc now, I need to give my sculpture some volume, so I'm going to make a pipe around these curves. I'm going to add the pipe command. And before I plug it in, because the, it's going to have a lot of geometry con to compute with 50,000 control points, I'm going to set the cap right click on caps and I'm going to make this solid by picking either flat or round. I'm going to set a radius for this and make a number slider. I'm going to set it to 0.5 and I'm going to plug it in as the radius. I'm going to double click on the wire to add a relay so I can keep this neat. And I'm going to plug curve in as the curve parameter. And I'm going to give it a second to compute. Once this computes, we'll add, as we can see it nicely now, 
We'll add a custom preview to better visualize it. Double click, custom preview. I'm going to plug pipe in as geometry. I'm going to double click and add a color swatch. And then I will turn off the preview for everything here by selecting it all, right clicking, middle mouse button clicking, sorry, and disable preview. Now we can see our form nicely of the strange attractor. To give this an even more interesting form, we're going to, instead of using pipe, we're going to use a variable pipe so that we can have a very thick base that supports this structure. So I'm going to go ahead and delete my pipe, double click, and I'm going to add pipe variable. This allows me to have variable radii. I'll go ahead and connect pipe to my preview. And scoot all of this over. So we're going to connect curve to curve. We're going to have multiple radii. And then we need parameters for the curve and radii. So I'm going to start by setting my cap, set it to the same as before, and now I need multiple radii. So I'm going to copy this slider, and I'm going to paste it a few more times. I'm going to make the first one a higher value, something like 1.6. I'm going to make this second value about 0.4 and this one either 0.1 or 0.2. I'm going to plug all of these into my relay starting with 1.6, shift, click and drag to connect the others. Now I'm going to plug these in as the radii. And then I'm going to work on my parameters. I'm going to divide this curve into three parts to match my radii. So divide curve. And I'm going to input the curve, of course. How many times? By default, this is 10. I need it to be um, based on the number of sli sliders I have here, based on the number of radii. So I'm going to list the length of this relay. List length. I'm going to plug the relay in here as the list. And that tells me its length of 3. I can plug this in as the count, and this is going to give me four parameters. So it's dividing it one time too many. So I'm going to right click, expression, x minus 1. This gives me three parameters for three radii. So I can plug this in as my parameters, and once I connect the curve from interpolation to the pipe, it's going to solve this. And wait for it to compute. Middle mouse button click and disable preview for everything before this. And there is our strange attractor.
if we want to start to visualize this better, we could turn on the sun. So I can run the command sun, turn the sun on, set it to here, and set the time to around 2, 2 p.m. And I'll change perspective mode to rendered to start to see that sunlight. When I'm ready to save this to Rhino, I will bake it. I'm going to go to pipe variable, pipe variable, right click on the middle and bake. And it's going to bake this onto a layer of my choice. It has Rhino geometry that I can save. Okay, in the next session, we will render this in Theorender.